everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Katie. Okay, so this week I went to the local Dollar Tree for the first time actually since living here, which we've been here for three years, so that's ridiculous. But I finally ventured out and went to the Dollar Tree and I found so many good things. I had like a little list of ideas that I wanted to create for Christmas DIYs using Dollar Tree items. And I was able to find pretty much everything that I wanted. I was really excited about that. So I've been working hard coming up with some really cute trendy decor that you would literally never guess is made from items from the Dollar Tree because I made everything for like $5 or less each thing. So it is pretty awesome. I'm so excited to share them with you. This is my first official holiday video of the season and I'm so ready for it. I'm definitely one of those people who wants to decorate like as soon as Halloween is over, but I try to hold off, but making videos for you guys is kind of a good excuse to be able to do that. So anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's go ahead and hop into the Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs. I saw these wood triangles at Dollar Tree and immediately thought Christmas trees. So my first step was to take them outside and paint them. I personally have been really into the Scandinavian style, more neutral Christmas decor for the past couple of years, and this year is no different, so I gave these a coat of flat black spray paint, which has amazing coverage. I kept them outside for a few hours to dry, and I was super happy with the final result. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know my love for wood beads, so I had an idea to create a tiny wood bead garland for the trees. I threaded some black yarn through a yarn needle, and then grabbed my basket of beads and started stringing them onto the yarn. I wasn't sure exactly how long I needed to make this, so I just gave it my best guess, knowing that I could always add more later if I needed to. I started toward the top of the tree and picked a point on the inside where I wanted to glue the garland down using hot glue. I pressed the end of the garland to that spot, then brought it over to the other side on a diagonal. I glued that section down, then repeated the same process, bringing it diagonally to the opposite side. This project was super easy, as you can see, you just have to keep gluing it back and forth until you're happy with it. I did need to add a few more beads as I got toward the bottom, which was no big deal. I just added a handful more and then finished gluing the last section down. I cut off the extra yarn and that's it. This seriously looks so high-end to me, something that you'd pay a lot of money for at West Elm, for example, but only cost me a few dollars to make. When I saw these plastic snow globes at Dollar Tree, I was immediately reminded of some snow globe stocking holders that I saw at Anthropology. I was determined to figure out a way to make my own. So in addition to the snow globe, I also picked up this little plaster ornament craft because I thought that the tree would be the perfect centerpiece for the snow globe. Because it is supposed to be an ornament, there was a little hole at the top, so I just used some joint compound to fill that in. Then I added a light coat of gold spray paint to finish it off. I used E6000 glue on the base of the tree and stuck it to the plastic insert of the snow globe. For the base of the stocking holder, I grabbed this piece of craft wood at Dollar Tree, and I will also be using this metal C hook. I marked the center point of the width of one of the sides of the wood shape, and I also decided to add the hook more toward the bottom of the base. Then I just drilled a pilot hole to make it easier for me to twist the C hook into the wood. Once that was all set, I grabbed the base of the snow globe and centered it on the wood, then used E6000 glue to glue it down. You'll want to let this cure completely so that it's nice and secure. I brought this whole thing outside and gave it a coat of the same flat black spray paint that I used on the wood tree. I like this choice because I thought it would allow the gold of the tree inside the snow globe to pop, but you can choose any color that you like best, gold, silver, red, or even pink if that's your Christmas color scheme. Once the base was dry, I put the tree inside the snow globe. I didn't add any water to mine, but if you do want it to be heavier or something like that, you can also add water to yours. Then I just twisted it onto the base. I'm so in love with this stocking holder. I think it is adorable and it would be so much fun to make them with a bunch of different Christmas shapes inside. Lastly, I wanted to make a simple but gorgeous ornament garland. So I picked up a few packs of these ornaments from Dollar Tree. They come in two sizes, so the smaller ones come with 15 in a pack and the larger ones come with 12. I liked the white and gold ones as is, but I wanted to paint the pink ones to match my color scheme better. So to make this part easier, I stuck a bunch of toothpicks into a box, pulled off the top of the ornament, 
and slid them down onto the toothpicks. This worked perfectly and now I can paint them on all sides without them rolling around too much. I chose this chalk paint, which is a grayish purple color and it gives great coverage. I found that this box method worked so well and I only had to do one to two coats of paint to get these ornaments fully covered. Once they were dry, I popped all of the tops back on and added them to the rest of the ornaments. I love how all of these colors look together. I got this lace ribbon from Dollar Tree and I think it's really pretty and elegant. I used two rolls of this for the garland. I started by tying a loop at one end so that I can easily hang it up anywhere. This step is optional, it just kind of depends on how you're planning to use the garland. To add the ornaments, I used one of the toothpicks to push the ribbon through the opening in the top of the ornament, then slid each ornament all the way to the other end. I tried to keep a pattern going, adding one large ornament, then a smaller one, and not adding two of the same color in a row. I also tried to space them evenly, leaving about six inches in between each one. When I got to the end of the ribbon, I grabbed the second roll and tied them together using a simple knot. Then I cut off the excess and slid an ornament on, and you can hardly tell that the knot is there. I added the rest of the ornaments, then finished it off by tying another loop at the end. This garland came out so much better than I was anticipating, especially for $5. It looks beautiful and elegant and is the perfect addition to my decor. Okay, so if you've been here before, then you know the drill, but if you're new, I always like to have you guys leave your vote in the comments down below of which DIY you liked the best today in this video, and it's just fun for me to see like if there's a clear favorite among all of them, but I love them all, so just leave your votes in the comments down below. And like I said, I've got a bunch of Christmas and holiday themed videos coming up in the next few weeks that I think you're really going to love, so make sure you are subscribed and hit that little bell notification so you know whenever I upload a new video. I think you guys are really, really going to love them. And I've been posting a lot of reels on Instagram lately. Some of them are DIYs I've done in the past and some of them are new ones that you've never seen before, but it's a lot of fun. They're just like short little videos showing you some ideas that you can use to decorate for the holidays right now, but then just other DIYs in the future. So if you guys want to follow me over there, it's just my name at Katie Bookser. I would love to have you follow along and tag me whenever you try out one of my DIYs. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.